This is Finished Work TV, a place of inspiration, wisdom, and revelation. As you listen and receive God's Word today, your life will never remain the same. Spirit is to make the will of God clear to you as a minister. The Spirit reveals the assignment of the Holy Spirit is to make the will of God clear to you. And that is why you need to have the revelation of intimacy with the Spirit. The, the revelation of intimacy with the Spirit. You know, when we have this revelation of intimacy, he empowers us to break limitations. The revelation of intimacy with the Spirit will empower you to break limitation. So I need to know the Holy Spirit as the one who reveals. It's an assignment to reveal the, the will of God, the, the purpose of God, the plan of God for my life, for my ministry, for the things that God has called me to do. Without the Spirit, you can't understand the situation. Without the Spirit, you can't understand what is ahead of you as a minister of the gospel. There are a lot of people that make decisions that ruin their ministries, uh, ruin their vision, their relationship, because of their inability to listen to the Holy Ghost. It is the Spirit that reveals why will the Spirit reveal? He reveals for you to know what to do. He reveals for you to know what to do. And this is why it's important for you to be intimate with the Holy Spirit as he can show you. As he can reveal to you the situation, the circumstances, what you should be doing in the ministry. You cannot be active and productive in the ministry without being actively involved in a relationship with the Holy Ghost. You cannot be active or productive in ministry without being actively involved with the Holy Ghost. It is the Spirit that reveals. Now, I could, there are scriptures I'd like us to look at this morning. In Luke Gospel, so in Luke Gospel chapter 4, Thank you, Holy Ghost, in St. Luke Gospel chapter 4. And look at this. In verse 17, St. Luke Gospel chapter 4, verse 17, he said, And he handed the book of the prophet Isaiah, and handed the book of the prophet Isaiah, and when he has opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Jesus acknowledged the Spirit. It says the spirit of the Lord, it is impossible to do ministry when you fail to acknowledge the Holy Spirit. If you fail to acknowledge the Holy Spirit, you cannot be effective. It is impossible to do ministry without submitting yourself to the leadership of the Spirit of God. It is by the Spirit you understand the will of God. It is by the Spirit you connect with God's purpose for your ministry in this season. It is by the Spirit you know that this is the direction to follow and this is the way to go. It is by the Spirit of God. And Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Why did Jesus say that? The people need to know that the solution to their situation, because the Spirit is upon me, big things are going to happen. <coughs> Great things are going to happen because the Spirit is upon me. He said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. And what is the purpose of that anointing? To carry out the will of God. The purpose of the anointing is to be, effi to be effective to be productive in what God has called you to do. And Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And can I say this to you? Your ministry can only be on the cutting edge 
if you be consistent in following the leadership of the Spirit of God. Your, your, your ministry can only be on the cutting edge when you are consistent in following the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Your ministry can only be on the cutting edge when you are consistent in following the leadership of the Holy Spirit. He will show you things to come. One time Jesus was talking and he said that when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth and he will show you things to come. One of the assignments of the Holy Ghost is to show you things to come. He's going to show you things to come. He make you to become a prophetic person. The Holy Ghost will make you a prophetic person that you're able to see vision. You're able to have dreams. You're able to have encounters, visitations. It is him that will show you things to come. The major assignment of the Holy Ghost is to inspire you, is to instruct you, is to show you things to come that you will not walk in darkness. And that is why your relationship with the Holy Spirit is the foundation of productive ministry. Your relationship with the Holy Ghost is the foundation of productive ministry. You cannot have a productive ministry, a productive ministry without the help of the Spirit. And that is why it's very strategic. That is why it's very important that it is by the Spirit that you and the Holy Ghost, it is by the Spirit that you will know the will of God, the plan of God, the purpose of God, the agenda of God. He will show you things to come. Do you want to know about things to come? Concerning those you're ministering to, then listen to the Holy Ghost. So listen to the Holy Ghost. If you want to know about the situation, you're ministering to someone, you're counseling someone, you're bringing counsel to someone. It is the spirit that reveals. Because people can be talking to you and they lie to you. They're talking to you, but they lie to you. They never told you the truth. They never gave you the whole detail of the situation. But it is the spirit that reveals. It is the spirit that shows you, this is what she's trying to say. This is what is going on. This is what is happening. It is the spirit that reveals. It is the spirit that shows you this is where to go. This is the direction. The spirit will show you things to come. The spirit will show you what to do. The spirit will show you how to function. And someone is listening to me right now. And the Holy Ghost will have me say this to you. The more you depend on the Holy Spirit, the less work you will have to do in ministry. The more you depend on the Holy Spirit, the less struggle, the less toiling. Why? Because the Spirit will show you. He will reveal to you what to do. When the Holy Ghost comes, He will show you things to do. He will show you things to do. There are certain things you want to know. The Spirit is going to reveal those things to you. There are people that could have been alive with us today. They never listened to the Holy Ghost to show them things to come. And they took that trip and that was the end of their life. You need the Holy Ghost as your guide to as the, the one that leads you know that we're, we're a, a tall guide you know when we go to places there's someone that will begin to show us places that is the job the holy ghost wants to help you to do in your life he wants to do that kind of job you want to be the tall guy the one that to show you where to go you went on this tour he, he starts showing you this is where to go this is what to do he wants to show you and those who listen to the spirit will be ahead of their situation those who listen to the spirit will be ahead of their situation. He will show you things to come. He will show you things to come. There are things, things to come. He will show you things to come. He will show you things to come. There are many of us that are saying, what do I do? What do I do? 
What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? The Holy Ghost will show you what to do. He will show you. He will show you. He will show you. He will show you things to come. There is someone right now. The Lord said, I want to show you things to come. Consigning ministry. Consigning ministry. He want to show you. Can I say this to us? Without the Holy Spirit, you're blind. Without the Holy Spirit, you're blind. You can't see. How are you going to see it? Without the Holy Spirit, you're blind. You can't see. You can't see. You can't receive. You won't be able to know things to do. Without the Holy Spirit, you can't see. It is him that will show you things to come. It is him that will show you things to come. There are certain things you're believing. <coughs> sorry, you're believing God for right now. But the Spirit will show you things to come. It is what he reveals that you can build on. It is what he reveals that you can follow. It is what he reveals that you can stay connected to. In ministry, we don't do ministry based on our IQ. We don't do ministry based on our personal intelligence. We do ministry based on what the Spirit of God is revealing to us. And there are so many people that have decided to do the ministry based on calculation. They are thinking, I will do this, I will do this, I will do this. They never followed what he's revealing to them. And that is why there is a major struggle. When you see a minister struggling, when you see someone struggling to do something, sometimes it's not because God is involved in that struggle. It's just that he, doesn't, he has not been able to receive what the Holy Ghost is showing him. There is something the Spirit of God is showing you. There is something the Spirit of God wants to reveal to you. Your ability to comprehend. He will show you things to come. He will show you. He will guide you. He will show you things to come. He's going to show you things to come. There are many things we don't know, but the Holy Ghost will reveal those things to us. And without the Spirit, you won't know them. Without the Spirit, and this is why it's important for you to be sensitive to the Spirit of God. To be sensitive to the Holy Ghost is the key to supernatural results in ministry. To be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. To be sensitive to the Holy Ghost is the key to supernatural results in ministry. You cannot have supernatural results without the Holy Ghost. My level of sensitivity to the Spirit will determine what I can see that he's revealing to me. My level of sensitivity to the Spirit will determine what I can see. My level of sensitivity, and this is why it's important you renew your mind with God's word as you can easily affect the voice of God. If you can, if you can renew your mind with God's word, you can affect the voice of God. If you can renew your mind with the word of God, you can affect the voice of God. And this is key. The Spirit will show you things to come. Depend on Him. He knows more than you do. Depend on Him. He knows more. He has a word for you. It is by the Spirit will receive word of knowledge. It is by the Spirit will receive word of wisdom. He will reveal to you as a minister. If you fail to depend on the Holy Spirit, the ministry will be a struggle. And that is how many people have struggled and struggled. And then they, never, they said, God did not call me. God called them but they could not depend on the Holy Spirit to reveal to them what they should be doing and how they should be doing it. It is the Spirit. It is by the Spirit we know what to do. You know, when you go to Amos chapter 3, verse 7, it said the Lord God will do nothing except he reveals it. It is by the Spirit that it is being revealed. It is by the Spirit that these things are revealed. It said the Lord God will do nothing except he reveals it. The Holy Ghost is the revealer. The Holy Ghost 
is the one that a lot of us have made some wrong decisions that we regretted. But if we listen to the Holy Ghost, we could have not made that decision. A lot of us have made decisions that cost us so much pain in the ministry. But if you listen to the Holy Ghost, you make that decision. The Spirit will show you what to do. The Spirit will show you we have to go. The Spirit will show you, show you where to move to. You know, I, I was just sharing this. Many years ago, our, our local church lost a property we bought. We lost it. I didn't listen to God. Because someone just came and just gave us some money. And I was so excited. I never asked God, Lord, what do I do with this money? Lord, where do I go with this money? I quickly went to a place and I bought a land. We started developing this land. We started working on the land, building. Only for a few months later, we have to realize that this property was bought by a company many years ago. And the people in the community decided to sell the land to us. We lost everything because I didn't hear the voice of God. I didn't listen to the Holy Ghost. We lost everything. But because God is a merciful God, He redirected my steps. There will be waste if we fail to listen to the Spirit. There will be waste of time, waste of resources, waste of energy, waste of life, if we fail to listen to the Holy Spirit. If we fail to listen to the Holy Spirit, we're going to lose everything. We're going to lose the resources. Listen to the Holy Ghost. Can I say this to you? The Spirit will reveal for you to have advantage of the situation. And a minister that is not attentive to the Holy Spirit is going to have ministry. He will do ministry with so much struggle. He's going to do ministry with so much struggle. Why? It is the Spirit that will show you the way to go and how to go. It is the Spirit. The Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me. Sweet Holy Ghost revealed to me. Sweet Spirit, show me what to do. Show me where to go. Show me how to go. It is by the Spirit. It is by the Spirit. It is by the Spirit. Pray in tongues and listen to the Spirit for wisdom, for direction, for counsel. Pray in tongues. Listen to the Spirit for wisdom, for direction. For cancel, for understanding. Don't take a step without the Holy Ghost. Don't take a step without the Holy Ghost. You can halt your ministry. Don't go by suggestion that sounds good. Good idea may not be a good idea. A good idea may not be a God idea. A lot of people are looking for good idea to grow their church, to grow their ministry. Listen to the Holy Ghost. Follow God's leading. Follow God's instruction. The Spirit will reveal. But the question is, will you follow? The Spirit will reveal. Will you follow? Will you follow? Will you follow? It is by the Spirit. will take the steps, the steps that leads to the harvest. It's by the Spirit. The Spirit will reveal where the harvest is. If you follow the leading of the Spirit, you're going to have a Strength free ministry. If you follow what the Spirit is showing you, what the Spirit is showing you, you're going to have a stress free ministry. You'll just be at the right place at the right time, doing the right things, getting the right results. As the Spirit reveals and you follow, you'll be at the right place 
at the right time with the right people having the right results as the Spirit reveals. Don't try to do things that has not been revealed to you. It can hurt your vision. It can hurt your resources. It can limit your possibilities. As the Spirit reveals, there is a master plan for your ministry. There is a master plan for your vision. Let the Spirit reveal. There is a master plan for your business. Let the Spirit reveal. There is a master plan for your church work. Let the Spirit reveal. There is a master plan for your prophetic ministry. Let the Spirit reveal. It is by the Spirit you will know what to do. It is by the Spirit you will prosper. It is by the Spirit you will excel. He will show you. He will show you. Some of the praying tongues. Someone praying tongue. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I'll read this scripture and then we're going to conclude in John Gospel 16, verse 5. In St. John Gospel 16, verse 5, it says, But now I will go away to him who sent me. And none of you ask me, Where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is it, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict you the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin. Because they do not believe in me. And of righteousness because I go to the Father and you see me no more. And of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. And look at Vex. 12, John Gospel 16, verse 12. I still have many things to say to you. Jesus is saying this. I still have many things to say to you. I still have many things to say to you. John Gospel 16, verse 12. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot be at them now. However, when the spirit of truth is come, he will, when the spirit of truth is come, has come, when the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truths. For he will not speak of his own authority. He will guide you. The spirit of truth will guide you. In ministry, your guide is the spirit. Until you receive from the Holy Ghost. Your guide in ministry. It's the Spirit. He will show you things. And that is how you're going to prosper. And that is how you're going to succeed. That is how you're going to get your ministry building. He will reveal to you. That is how you're going to get your ministry property. He will reveal to you. That is how you're going to know who's your associate pastor. Who is care for you. That is how you're going to know who is going to work with you. Close the ministry. He will reveal to you things to come. Don't neglect the Holy Spirit if you want to experience a great ministry. Don't neglect the Holy Spirit if you want longevity of ministry. Don't neglect the Holy Spirit if you want a fruitful ministry. The Spirit will show you things to come. Let's thank him today. Father, we thank you for this class. I bless you for everyone that is listening right now. I pray for them that the anointing and the wisdom of God will come upon them that you will show them things to come. You will show them. You will reveal to them. You will help them to fulfill their destinies. In the name of Jesus, receive grace. Receive wisdom. Receive understanding. That you be effective and productive in the name of Jesus. I pray for you today that you will listen to the Holy Ghost for supernatural wisdom, for supernatural counsel, and for supernatural understanding. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we're praying. Amen. We're going to be back again tomorrow. I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like Treatment Teaching on YouTube. We'll be back again tomorrow for one hour and 20 days master class. Today is Sunday, and I know many of us have church to go, so we'll just have to take a brief class. We'll be back tomorrow. Until I see you tomorrow, don't forget this. There is witness in you, and Jesus is coming soon. God bless you.